Well, I finally got a drone. It's the DJI Mavic Mini. I'm super excited about this. I took it out for its first flight today. I'm gonna to show you some footage. All right, so I've been interested in drones for a long time, but I've really held off. Uh, last year, about this time, I came really, really close to getting a Mavic Air. I did a lot of research, um, looked at a Spark, an Air, at uh, a Pro, other things. I thought the Air was about right. Uh, came so close to pulling the trigger on one, just wondered how much I would actually use it. So in, around that time, they implemented these new regulations here in the U.S. where you had to pass this test and get the certification in order to fly these drones that were over a certain weight limit. So that really kind of turned me off to the whole thing. The last thing I, I need to do right now is study for some tests. Uh, I've got lots of other stuff going on. So I thought if I need a drone, I'll just use some stock footage or I will hire one of my friends to do it that actually has a nicer drone. But then they came out with this Mavic Mini and uh, this thing is just under the weight limit and so it allows me to um, not have to take that test which is great so once I saw that this came out uh, I watched lots of reviews I thought well the, the footage is pretty good it's it's pretty limited right now in your video settings but uh, DJI is usually pretty good about releasing new firmware after it's been out for a few months that enhances uh, the functionality of their of their camera so I expect that after Christmas after lots of people have this uh, drone already that they will release this new firmware that will unlock the 24p that will unlock the uh, the manual settings for the video that will maybe even unlock 4k abilities uh, this really looks like the same camera that's on my Osmo Pocket so I would be surprised if this couldn't actually do 4K inside. I guess we'll find out. So, and the slow motion is pretty cool too. It does uh, 60 frames per second at HD. Uh, so it's not quite the 120 frames per second that you get out of the pocket. Uh, but like I said, I suspect that they probably will release that maybe in January or so if I had to guess. So I'm hopeful for that. So overall, this drone is great. I've never really flown one before. I was able to get up and flying in no time with the DJ Fly app. Uh, everything connected pretty well. Uh, I do only have the one battery. I probably will have to buy a few more batteries for it. Um, and I'm not going to lie, it is super nerve-wracking the first time you take it up to where you can barely see it anymore and it is up at the very top of its range. I'm just, at any moment, I'm expecting it just to, to zip and fly away and, and for it just to be gone. So I'm just going to have to get over that and, and just get used to flying it with the camera so that I can actually use it to its full potential. So I'm, I'm sure that I'll get over that with some more experience and I will just trust the screen and trust the drone to stay in the air. And then I won't be so worried all the time that the wind is just going to catch it and take it off to another dimension. So as you can see here in this clip, I've just got it hovering in the air directly in front of me. This is a pretty windy day. It's blowing the leaves around pretty good. Uh, and once I got this up to a higher altitude, I actually got the wind warning that I should bring it back down to a lower altitude uh, so that nothing bad would happen. And then as you can see here, my dog does not like it. So overall, I'm super excited about this drone. I can't wait to get some more hours behind it uh, and get some more experience to where I'm much more comfortable flying it around. So I think I'll be making some more videos about this to show some of the cinematic qualities and I'll certainly involve it in some of my short films. So I hope that this was helpful for someone out there to make a decision on whether or not this is the right drone for you. Certainly is for me. I expect a lot of people to be getting this drone for Christmas and some new firmware updates will make it just perfect, I think. Uh, maybe a year from now or so I'll look at upgrading to a Mavic Air, but this is perfect for me for now. So thanks DJI for coming out with such a great drone for a great price at such a low weight so that I can fly it without having to take that test. So I did a quick test as the sun was going down just to see uh, what it would look like with the exposure here. And as you can see, it's it's pretty unusable. Uh, this would be better, uh, obviously, with some manual settings. Uh, you could uh, set the exposure for the ground uh, and maybe use an ND filter or something for the sky. Uh, speaking of ND filters, I'm really excited to get a set of ND filters for this. I think that's pretty much a must-have for any outdoor camera, especially, I would imagine, a drone. Well, overall, I'm super excited about this drone and uh, can't wait for this weekend so I can get out and fly it some more and get some, some more great footage. So uh, thanks for checking this video out and uh, we'll see you next time. So if you like this video, please drop it a like and make sure to subscribe if this is your first time here. Uh, lots more tutorials on the way.